Needing positivity all around you. Many life struggles trying to hold you down. When your goal is being great to push through dark clouds that try to tear you down. Why they want to tear me down? Ram gang, we in this in this thing I said up ram gang. We in this in this thing I said up ram gang. We in this in this thing I said up ram gang. We in this in this thing I said hey, what you doing here if you ain't looking for no Aries? We stay turned up, we be talking about them Aries. Gang, 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 turn up for Aries. Crank that, pop that, shake that, turn up for Aries. Gang, gang, what's popping? Did you miss me? Hmm, hmm. Cause I missed your motherfucking ass. Listen, this will be um, a reading for Aries. A time is reading for the sign of Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, um, the North Node, as well as the Cross Watches. We know y'all in the building. Hey, boo, hey. All right, give a bitch a shout out. Give a bitch love. Heart that. You hear what I'm saying? Like that video. Heart that, honey. Hey, boo, hey. It's the first time you're on my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, this first time you're on my channel, look out. I cuss, okay? May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Open, oh, I'm a cuss, all right? So if cussing doesn't work for you, please feel free right down now to go ahead and get the hell up out of here, okay? This is my shit, all right? Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, the donations, the reading requests, you guys, the referrals. Thank you so very much from the most humblest space ever, okay? I truly appreciate y'all. Also, if you need a person to read that information will be found within the description box below. This ain't finna resonate with every damn Aries. Take what does, leave what leave the rest, okay? If that motherfucking shoe is too big, your ass is gonna fall. Period, alright? So don't be trying to put on a motherfucking shoe that don't fit you. You hear you you, you heard me? You understand? Alright, listen. Alright, without further ado, also, hey, if you're new to the family, if you're new to the family, new subscribers, hey boo, hey, we'll it dysfunctional over here, okay? We don't fight and fuss, but we do cuss. We hell yeah, we cuss, alright? We share, we grow, we love, we enlighten we enlighten. Posy vibes only positive type teams, alright? So without further ado, Aries, let's go ahead and jump into your motherfucking reading. Listen, gang, gang. The number synchronicity that I got for you all during this time was 444. 888 some of you all may be seeing 711 717 707 okay or straight up 777 a lot of completion or divine completion a lot of also um, divine orchestration and intervention okay especially if it's having to do with situations I heard about choice about force so it's like we could do this the easy way or the hard way listen uh, I don't get tired <laughs> I eat God you hear what I'm saying stamp that you get what I'm you you get tired I don't get tired the divine is wanting you to know they don't get tired for some of you all this have to do with the cycle of self-sabotage a particular belief or a pessimistic uh, a pessimistic belief system okay I'm also hearing systematic approach so for some of you all you're finding that following the goddamn rules is no longer it's no longer working for you following the rules of working a damn nine to five in order to reach that sense of fulfillment or reach that state of abundance is no longer working for you for some of you all Aries some of y'all may be getting a promotion as like okay I'm hearing some of you guys could be putting in your two weeks notice and then all of a sudden you get that motherfucking promotion that you've been waiting for. I pick up on this energy of like being blessed but in a condescending way, okay? Um, some of you all may be dealing with a sociopathic ass boss or a boss that has sociopathic tendencies. I pick up on this energy where some of you all may be dealing with a boss where you may have to remind this person how to do their motherfucking job, but they have the aud it's the audacity for me. Aries like bitch, it's the audacity for me. All right? It's the audacity for you. This person has the audacity to try to micromanage you and some of you all is telling this motherfucking person, hey, did you send them emails? Hey, did you did you, did you check on that damn uh did you check on that request that I put in? Hey, did you check on that? I pick up I pick up on this energy where some of you all your boss you make your boss feel small due to your um due to your your ability to like be 10 steps ahead i'm also hearing clear cognizance okay aries i'm also picking up on this energy that some of y'all are dealing with someone and this person could be like very intimidated by your spiritual gifts okay i'm picking up on this energy because the song that i got for you all was um it was drake um i don't trust these bitches they might catch me slipping you're the only one 
because I don't trust these bitches, okay? So, Aries, some of you all are not trusting these bitches at this time, all right? Some of y'all is on the verge of, like, you can get blocked. You can get blocked. You can get blocked. We all, you all can get blocked. Big RSVP to the motherfucking block party. For some of you all, you're dealing with a Sagittarius or you have Sagittarius in your chart, all right? For some of you all, there's a, there's this emphasis around cutting ties, okay? Or cutting things that no longer fit in, fit or cutting things that no longer fit or is no longer in alignment with where it is that you're planning to grow, what it is that you're planning to um, grow or, or for what it is that you're planning to bring it to fruition, okay? A lot of focus around manifestation. For some of you all, you're actually, a, you're actually, a, ugh. Mercury, bitch, let me be great. Stop being a fucking hater. This bitch popping out in her fucking micro braids. We ain't got time for that, all right? But for some of you all, um, there's this energy around... Okay, Aries, so I'm hearing whatever is falling away, let it fall away. Especially if this is like a mindset, okay? Or a particular way of thinking or a particular way of believing. For some of you all, you're in this state of seeing is believing when spirit is wants you, spirit is wanting you to believe in order to see. Trust your uh, trust your manifestation abilities, okay? I'm also picking up on this energy of like patience. Again, again, the need to have patience. Things are not stagnant, things are not in this space. It's like you're in this space of patience and stillness, but it has to do with like a lot of introspection. Really, you being real with your damn self and actually assessing, you know, or reassessing your boundaries, but also questioning as it pertains to like relationship cycles. What am I doing that is keeping this cycle um, from actually ending in my life? What am I doing? What am I allowing? Okay. What am I putting up with? Am I ignoring any motherfucking red flags? Hell, am I fucking being pessimistic as it pertains to a relationship growing and being fruitful and being healthy? For some of you all, this have to do with like actual relationships, but for some of y'all, this have to do with collaborations and business. All right. I'm picking up on this energy with Aries. You're going into a new cycle. You're entering a new phase in your life. I get a lot of Phoenix energy. Like you're entering a new phase, but you're trying to enter this new phase with the old ass mind Set, and spirit is not having it. That's what's causing the motherfucking hold up. All right. Again, spirit is needing you to believe in order to see. Your faith is being tested here, Aries. For some of you all, this also has to do with like minor ass delays, minor ass setbacks for major motherfucking comebacks. If you're ending a relationship or you're ending some type of business partnership, know that it was because you were meant, you were fated to do something by yourself at this time. Okay. Um, for others of you. I'm picking up on this energy around like frivolous spending or emotional spending. Okay, spirit is wanting you to reassess. It's like you have to be. It's, you, you, it's like you have to be real with your motherfucking self. If you're trying to manifest money and you feel as if you don't, if you're trying to manifest money or manifest a business and you feel as if you don't have enough money, what areas in your motherfucking life can you cut the fuck back on? Because for some of you all, you're manifesting this, you're manifesting that. You got you got a huge ass vision. But you out here spending your money on frivolous shit. You, do you really need the motherfucking pumpkin spice ass candles from Amazon, bitch? Halloween is one day. You hear what I'm saying? Do you really need that motherfucking, uh, that cover for your motherfucking couch? You getting ready to move anyway. Huh? Huh? Do you really need all of them goddamn tarot cards when you only use about two pair any motherfucking way? You're being called to question your decisions. Like, what are you, where are you investing too much of your time? Where are you investing a lot of your energy where you're not receiving any type of fucking reciprocity? For some of you all, this has to do with your connections, your friendships. Some of y'all are also coming into the realization that you have a spouse or some type of connection with someone. And I'm hearing intimate connection, so this could definitely be a spouse that is envious of your vision. They're envious of your ability to fucking quickly bounce back, okay? I'm also picking up on this energy of magic, okay? So some of y'all, you could be in this space of really like getting in tune with your personal magic i'm also hearing elemental magic earth magic okay i'm also picking up on um i heard quantum physics quantum leaping some of you all, i'm also hearing the art of manifestation the art of magic and mastery all right for some of you all you could actually be teaching divination courses at this time or actually be attending some type of divination course okay i'm hearing conjuring i'm also hearing summoning for some of you all also I am hearing spiritual attacks, but for some of you all, these spiritual attacks are happening in the astral realm. I'm hearing the alignment, okay, coming into some type of alignment or completion as it pertains to some type of past life karmic soul contract or past life karmic contract. For some of you all, you're needing to physically move because this could have to do with like where you live or like the seeds, okay. 
they're saying your job is done with where you are or some type of karmic contract with the land in which you live have expired. For some of you all, you may be getting a lot of intuitive downloads that you need to move states, okay? Or I'm hearing like moving a distance. For some of you all, there's a need for you to keep this quiet, okay? I'm also picking up on protecting your work, copyrights, assets, okay, LLCs, protect, uh, some, somebody's trying to catch you motherfucking slipping in reason. I feel like this is a petty individual that you could have cut off. This person needs some type of reaction out of you, whether it's negative or positive, it doesn't matter. If you get this motherfucker your energy, if you get this motherfucker your energy, it, at the end of the day, they still won, okay? I'm picking up on less is best. Observe more, say less at this time, okay? So let's jump into it. Let's get into it. Some of you Aries may also be in this space of conception. You may be finding out that you're pregnant. Congratulations, Mocha Love the Kids. Okay. Again, a lot of soul fragmentation. Some of you all you may be having a lot of vivid dreams as it pertains to family members. Some of y'all may be getting some type of intuitive uh, downloads or some type of like clarifications intuitively or through your dream space. Okay. I'm hearing premonitions, visions, prophetic dreams. All right. Some of you are also, this is a great time to listen to your children. I'm picking up on a lot of divine, um, a lot of synchronicities, confirmations coming out. I'm hearing through the mouth, out, out of the mouths of babes, okay? Or coming through your children or children that are around you, okay? I'm also hearing centering yourself. For some of you all, Aries, you have a lot of energy at this time. For some, that's two groups of y'all. Some of y'all got a lot of energy and some of y'all is finding it hard to get the fuck out the bed each and every day. I'm hearing willpower. For some of you all, this is actually magically influenced. For those of you who are having a hard time getting out of bed, I am picking up on something significant to a mother-in-law or a mother figure. This could even be a sister or a cousin. It's a female figure, okay? I'm also picking up on breaking generational curses or taking a very, like, a very detailed look at your family line, your ancestral line. I'm hearing some of you all are releasing karma from, or, or, or okay, some of y'all is going through some type of like solar plexus, um, okay, solar plexus and sacral like release. And I feel like this has to do with like the burdens of both ancestral lines, the maternal side and the paternal side. For some of you all, you're, you're understanding, you're acknowledging areas in which you came here to, what areas within your bloodline in which you came here to shift, okay? A lot of focus around ancestors, animal totems, power animals. Um, lizards may be of significance at this time. Adaptability, okay? Also, spiders as well, weaving things, being weaved together on your behalf. Things are happening behind the scenes in which you can't see, but it's like the path is being cleared, Aries. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, you guys got Menelite. 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 What's going on? What's going on, with Aries? Also, Aries, I am hearing... You guys are really assessing areas like now that you've come into this spiritual growth, you've come into this ascension phase. Some of you all are looking back over your past, but I feel like for some of you all, the past and fears of things reoccurring from the past is actually blocking your relationship or your ability to connect with another in the present, which is actually going to ultimately like alter your future if you don't fucking stop the shits. Because for some of you all, you're the asshole, you're the problem. And it has to do with your ability to let people in, be receptive to energies that are like trying to give to you or are put on your path to assist you or give you a sense of a leg up in a particular area as it pertains to your career. Some of you all may be experiencing some type of like completely um, complete career transition, okay? Some of y'all is tired of what you fucking do. You, you're losing your passion for what it is that you do and it's because things are not moving as fast as you'd like them to go is what I'm hearing, okay? For some of you all, you could be like um, holistic practitioners or you could be like holistic healers. Some of y'all, I'm picking up on this energy of like, um, okay, this could be like herbal medicine, herbal divination, okay? Herbal baths. I'm also hearing um, holistic hairline, holistic hair care products, holistic um, cosmetic products, okay? I'm picking up on lines, brands, designs, okay? I'm also hearing fashion designer for some of you all I'm also hearing customization some of y'all could be getting into um okay into the industry of like um clothing okay I'm also hearing expanding okay so this could be also if you have a current business or a metaphysical business you could be expanding the products or ex the services and what you offer with your business some of you all are really needed to get it's like you have a huge vision but you're needing to like actually put a practical plan with that vision in order to uh, in order to um in order to see like progression there, okay? So Menelite. 
Mina Lights. Number 40. Didn't I tell y'all foes? Faux, faux, foes. Okay. Mina Light, the wise feminine. Mina Light has a profound connection with Earth, the wise feminine and priestess power. It marks rites of passage through womanhood to wisdom. You are an immortal soul who is an embodiment of the wise feminine. Express this through your body and actions. Go deep into yourself to find your connection to Mother Earth. Sit in her womb of healing. In meditation, you heal your soul. Put aside fear and remember that transmit. I'm sorry, that transitions are necessary prerequisites for growth. Honor your sacred sexuality. Mark rites of passage joyfully. Experience a period of gestation. To move would not be beneficial now. Nurture yourself and bide your time. Withdraw into your inner world to accept necessary change. Make your soul whole and find power allies. You know it when it is time for rebirth. Mat okay, maturation is a process of growing wiser. The soul and the heart does not age. The frequency of this stone is earthy and high. Good for the earth star chakra, base and sacral. Also good for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and those with the soul path of expressing the divine feminine. Okay? Some of you guys could be working on blogs, blogs. This could also have to do with like... um ancestral healing i'm also hearing affirmations meditations okay some of y'all could also be therapists or like going into the field of some type of like communication advocacy as it pertains to like traumas okay i'm also hearing mental illness as well i'm also hearing something having to do with um i'm hearing autism okay some of you guys could be advocating for autistic for autistic children okay I'm also hearing as it pertains to like some of y'all could also be working very heavily within your community okay there's a need again for you to get grounded and be open to delegating your tasks because you cannot do it all on your own there's this very prideful energy for some of you all you have a lot on your plate and I, okay I'm hearing you have a lot on your plate and pride is preventing you from actually Allowing yourself to like receive the help that the divine is sending for some y'all is blocking your own fucking blessings as it pertains to receiving the help in which you pray for all right again trust issues so for some of you all you could actually this could be a great time to acknowledge any type of like issues surrounding trust and like really get to the nitty gritty of where that stems from okay a lot of reassessing restructuring the foundations of things how you present something how you show up in the world Aries okay okay so give me a soul journey, um, a soul, soul lessons journey card for Aries. Aries, for some of you all, you could be dealing with a um, with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. I pick up on this energy where someone, I'm hearing Donnell Jones, um, say when you love someone, you just don't treat them bad. Oh, how I feel so sad now that I want to leave. She's crying her heart to me. How could you let this be? I just need time to see where I want to be. Where I want to be. For some of you all, I'm picking up on... Okay, now I don't own the rights to that motherfucking song, alright? But um, that's Donnell Jones. For some of you all, I'm picking up on this energy of someone doesn't know where they want to be. Someone feels obligated to stay or someone's feeling as if they have to become a slave to their loyalty. For some of you all, you're staying stuck in a situation that you don't have to be stuck in. Some of y'all is inheriting someone else's karma. I'm hearing this is showing through your financial sector, okay? Alright, so give me a soul lessons journey card for Aries Spirit, please. Thank you. Some of you all may be slowly losing respect for someone. I'm also hearing for some of you all, you're expecting something from someone that they don't know how to give you. I heard learned behavior failure, okay? I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Some of you all are returning back to something or trying, okay? If at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. You can dust it off and try again, try again, hey, hey. Some of you all could be trying something for a second time. I'm hearing music, okay? Some of you all, it wasn't the timing for you to actually present something, but the timing is actually aligning for you now. I'm hearing life, perfect, uh, life, per uh, life purpose expression, okay? Some of you all, this have to do with like teaching, sharing your divine wisdom. You are a spiritual teacher. For some of you all, again, I'm hearing, okay? 
I'm also hearing something having to do with like a secret society, a social society. Be very careful. Like do all of your research as it pertains to like joining groups or um, sharing your energy. I'm also hearing some type of like fraud ass spiritual like guru okay some y'all i'm hearing reiki master or distant reiki be very careful for like sending your money to somebody to do some damn distant reiki on you to, at this time aries i pick up on someone's not really motherfucking official like a whistle okay i'm also picking up on this fear of failure it's like if you don't you don't know you you can't grow if you don't allow yourself to grow to move forward okay or you don't know if you don't allow yourself to grow some of you all are like being called to like really roll the damn dice and take a chance on presenting something, sharing something, or sharing your gift with the collective. Okay? Some of you all don't trust yourself. Health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. For some of you all, I'm hearing workout regimes. Okay? Some of you all may be. I'm hearing juice fast. I'm also hearing green diet. All right? Some of you all uh, may be stepping back and assessing, reassessing your diet or reaching or like trying to reach some type of body goals or some of you all are reaching your goals as it pertains to I'm hearing body goals so reaching your goals as it pertains to fitness okay some of you all are fitness or health and wellness trainers okay I heard it's not what you do it's how you do for some of you all this also have to do with some type of like courses classes some of you all could also be getting some type of like certification or receiving some type of like um okay I'm hearing I'm hearing you to me okay I'm also hearing doula some of you all could be um, getting some type of like certification to be a doula or a midwife all right some of you all could be in search of this all right some of you all could also I'm hearing some of y'all could be um, wanting to stop smoking or drinking a lot of focus on really like honoring your vessel okay I'm hearing fasting as well some of y'all could be in this space where you're like completely shifting your diet I'm hearing some of y'all are like stopping eating meat I'm seeing that some. I'm hearing that some of y'all are seeing um, a difference within your skin with doing this. Okay, judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. All right, and peace. For some of y'all, you're releasing a situation for your damn peace, for your peace and sanity. You're protecting your emotional, your mental, your physical, as well as your spiritual health. All right. Some of you all, I'm also hearing, be careful with reconciling with the water sign. This person is going to throw off your pH balance. Peace. I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy, all right? For some of you all, this has to do with, again, reassessing your boundaries, standing your motherfucking ground. I said what I said as energy and that's what the fuck it's going to be. No is a fucking complete answer is what I'm hearing, Aries. For some of you all, someone's offended by you telling them no. All right? So let's jump into it. Let's get some messages from the intuitive deck. Some of you all, Aries, you have a water sign male that could be intimidated by your growth or intimidated like by your shine I feel like someone's in like silent competition with you this could be a male that is like a homosexual male especially if this is like someone in your friend group I'm also picking up on someone wants to come back and like gaslight you Aries someone wants to know that they can still like get get your damn engine running someone wants to know that they can still but like they still have an effect on you, okay? Some of y'all are dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person sucks at communication, all right? This person may give you things or may do do things for you, but you don't really you don't have a clear understanding of what the fuck y'all what the fuck is this, okay? Excuse me, sir. What the fuck is this, okay? Excuse me, ma'am. What the fuck is this? Um, I am picking up on this, and I heard learned behavior. Someone has an issue around expression as it pertains to like their authentic selves, okay? Yeah, some of y'all got a water sign again digging for dirt on you. Someone someone wants to get close to you or want to gain access to you to quote unquote expose you. And I say it like that, Aries, because this is a very petty ass person. Or someone's upset that they can't expose you because you're a very transparent individual. Alright. I'm also picking up on again branding. Alright? Yeah, fear of rejection. Some of y'all got a fire sign that wants to move close to you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but this person has a fear of being uh, rejected by you. I'm hearing ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. This could have been someone who could have rejected you in the past. Someone's now looking at looking back and seeing that they made a mistake. Like you were the motherfucking you were the motherfucking apple of this person's eye, but they couldn't see love until actually experiencing loss. Like someone doesn't someone has to learn through loss in this life, alright? This could be someone that you have a soul contract with, okay? 
Spirit is saying yes, they are a hater. Some of y'all are dealing with a very mentally unstable ass water sign. I'm hearing for some of y'all, it doesn't matter the sign. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who's mentally unstable. This person does not take accountability for anything. You can catch them cheating and they're going to blame you for the reason why they motherfucking cheated, okay? This person is a hater. Spirit wants you to know yes. They are a motherfucking hater. I'm hearing that them sideways ass, shady ass motherfucking jokes ain't jokes, Aries. Peep, peep, the, peep the play. Some of you, again, two-faced friend. This person, I'm, I'm hearing this person is not your friend. They just they, they just need the 411 on your motherfucking life, all right? Somebody needs, somebody needs access in. You also could have somebody that's infiltrating your dream space. I'm picking up on this could be like a competitor, um, competitor as it pertains to like what you do, especially if you are a healer, if you are a practitioner, if you are a spiritualist. Somebody could be like in silent competition with you. They want to know the motherfucking secret sauce, Aries. They want to know how you do what you do. This person could be trying to like block your crown chakra or tap into your motherfucking crown chakra, okay? Some of you all are voodoo priestesses. This could also be a voodoo priestess and this could be your life purpose, all right? Some of you all could be teaching this, all right? A lot of focus on your purpose. Where am I supposed to be? What am I supposed to be doing? For some of you all also, yeah, some of y'all, this is a mad-ass ex, okay? Your mad-ass ex could have paid a motherfucking voodoo priestess to, be, to get some type of information on your life, on your future, where you're going, okay? Some of y'all, I'm also hearing mother figure. This could be a mother figure. This could be your mother. Someone could also be trying to manipulate you using your children for money, okay? Yeah, doppelganger. They motherfucking copy you, bitch. When I say I'm good, I'm good. Some of y'all, this is an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, okay? Some of you all also could be monitoring your water intake or there's a need for you to drink more water. Yeah. Energy vampire. Some of you all are dealing with a motherfucking energy vampire. I'm, I'm picking up on... I'm picking up on the need to like reserve your sexual energy for some of you all you choosing to go celibate at this time like you preserving your sexual energy in order to use it in, the, in order to use it to create okay yeah at the bottom of the deck bitch creativity for some of you all you preserving your sexual energy in order to create with it okay some of you all you could be focused on like creative projects at this time I'm also hearing the Aries full moon is going to be significant for you to like get something completed okay yeah some of y'all have an envious ass water sign sister, okay? Or someone that you call sister. Someone's behind the scenes secretly trying to like break up you and your spouse. This could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, alright? Yeah, some of you all also have a natural connection to animals. You could want to start some type of business or some type of um some type of service where you're actually like assisting people with connecting to their animals that are deceased, okay? A lot of focus around mediumship, paranormal activities, also the need to discern. Uh, what spirits in which you're entertaining. Alright. Yeah. Some of y'all got an air sign that is extremely jealous of you. This person wants your lifestyle. They want your abundance. It's like they can't. It's like they can't block you. So they have to sit back and like. They have to sit back and just hate in fucking silence. Okay. Some of y'all this person. Yeah. Some of y'all got a thotty toddy on your ass. Someone could be like making offer or making some type of love offer to you, but this motherfucker is for the streets. Some of y'all could have threw this motherfucker back to the streets, okay? Yeah, so now they're sending you psychic attacks, okay? Some of y'all have another fire sign, every little Sagittarius that could be sending you psychic attacks because you stood up for yourself, all right? Some of y'all could be standing up to your, standing up for yourself as it pertains to an earth sign, and you're absolutely right to do so. It is not safe to trust them. Follow your intuition, okay? Some of you all are currently being motherfucking gang stalked. Do the people missing your energy and no longer having access to your motherfucking energy? All right? Yeah. Some of y'all, this could be another cardinal sign like yourself, Aries, Capricorn, Cancer, Libra. Okay? Yeah, this person could be sending you psychic attacks. For some of you all, you are really trying to master your psychic ability. Okay? There's a need for you to trust yourself. Okay? Some of y'all could have actually cut off some type of like group setting. This could be family, friends, co-workers, etc. All right? Big block list. Somebody, yeah, people don't like your motherfucking... They don't like your bound they don't like your ability to set boundaries, Aries, alright? Some of y'all could be very heavily into like mastering some type of occult knowledge or like studying various um topics as it pertains to the occult. I'm hearing symbolism, alright? I'm also hearing um okay. I heard hermetics. Some of you guys could be into hermetics, okay? Some of you all I'm also hearing something having to do with the aesthetic as well. Some of y'all I'm also hearing that you need to connect to your confidence. Oh, that's too many. Connect to confidence as it pertains to, like again, how you show up in the world. Some of y'all got a, a, a fire sign, uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius, that is spreading gossip about you. Someone wants to, like, infiltrate or assassinate your brand. 
or your okay or your reputation and someone's angry because nobody is no longer people are no longer jumping on a motherfucking bandwagon i feel like somebody tried to start a motherfucking smear campaign but at the same time someone's motherfucking hate is assisting you when it comes to growing okay balancing of energies you need the negative and the positive all right yeah some of y'all could also, also be dealing with a narcissistic father Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this person could be wallowing in their motherfucking guilt and instead of actually like taking a lick and taking accountability for what the fuck they did, this individual is spreading fucking lies, alright? Yeah. Some of you all, there's a need for you all to know that someone is practicing dark magic, spell work, voodoo, wiccan, okay? So for some of you all, this could be someone that's trying to like come and communicate. Uh, you could be a very private person where you don't like display things that's going on in your personal life on social media. So someone feels as if they need to reconcile and get close to you to see if their fucking magic is working, alright? Some of you all, some of y'all could be in a narcissistic, a narcissist versus the empath type of paradigm, alright? Someone making you feel guilty for choosing yourself or doing or making positive moves. Yeah, with yourself. Yeah, no worries about that whole magic shit. For some of y'all, spirit is saying this is a petty ass magician. Someone could be practicing some type of candle magic. I'm hearing sex magic as well on you as well, Aries. Okay, you're a shaman. Some of you all are shamans. You're healers. I'm hearing past, present, future. Some of you all, you're going back in the past and healing within through forgiveness in order for you to actually like reassess and like restructure how you do things in the present in order to like positively impact your motherfucking future. Again, this has to do with again how you show up in the world. Creativity, okay? Some of y'all got a water sign that's trying to trap you in order to like tie themselves to you or your success in the future, okay? Give me two more for my Aries. Yeah. They are big mad. Some of y'all got an Aries. I'm sorry. Um, not an Aries. Um, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. This person is big mad because due to all of their motherfucking attempts to slow you down, Aries, you keep fucking persevering, okay? This person ultimately missed your energy, misses your energy. And I feel like this person could have been trying to keep you in a cycle, but your ancestors said, uh, no, little bitch, not today, okay? So let me get some advice from my motherfucking Aries. Because listen, Aries, they got us fucked up in this season. We out here trying to boss up. Fucking have our skin, our body, our motherfucking hair popping and shit. And people is mad. They mad when we fucking talk our shit. They mad when we silent. You can't win. You can't get out. Can't get out of the game. Wizard of Oz looking ass bitch. Let me see. What's going on? <laughs> the Wiz. All right. Resolution and healing. So you guys got resolution and healing. Worry not. Things are actually like the divine is actually um, orchestrating things to give you a sense of like if you had something that was unfinished or some type of um, cycle that you were currently in. The divine is offering you a space of resolution and healing by you getting closure or just completely choosing to cut the situation the fuck off. Okay. I'll move on. For some of y'all, yeah, this is, this is definitely focusing on relationships. Okay. Some of you all are really reassessing your relationships and like reassessing as it pertains or reassessing from a space of can I grow here? Is this beneficial for me? What are we building? What are we doing? Okay. Is this good for my mental, my emotional, my physical, my, my spiritual? Okay. Health. Is this good for me? All right. Some of you all are really, I'm hearing beneficial contacts, faded meetings. So for some of you all, the divine is replacing people who were motherfucking takers with people who are willing to give, people who are willing to invest, people who are willing to share. But for some of you all, you have to realize and open up Aries and realize that you're no longer in that motherfucking cycle where you were dealing with like bum ass people. Okay. Yeah. For some of you all, this has to do with you being receptive of new love. The divine is sending you all new love. Okay. Yeah. Some of you are also, there's a need for you to transmute that negative ass energy through expression, through your creativity and expression. This is like, fuck turning lemons into lemonade. Bitch, you throw lemons at me, I'm going to make a whole motherfucking lemonade factory for your ass. We're going to have lemon soap, lemon juice in this bitch, lemon lemon jackets, lemon drops, bitch. We're going to have lemon motherfucking lip gloss. We're going to get it lemony fucking popping around this bitch. You hear me? Listen. Some of you all, this could also be you actually putting your pain into your music, okay? Trust your intuition. If you feel as if someone's actually stalking you, if you feel as if someone is obsessing over you, if you feel as if someone's trying to motherfucking manipulate their way back in your motherfucking life, trust that shit. Seal the goddamn door. You can get blocked. You can get blocked. You all can get blocked around this bitch, okay? So let's see. Libra. I'm going to pull some astrology cards, but Libra was the first. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Libra, okay? I heard condescending. 
condescending, narcissistic, sociopathic. Mm. Yeah. Aries moon. Libra came out again. Okay, it actually went to follow. It was adamant, bitch. You could be dealing with a Libra or have this in your chart. Right? Scorpio. Capricorn moon. Yeah, this person could be a fixed north node or you, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, okay? Leo rising. Leo moon. Give me two more for Aries. Two more for Aries. Two more for Aries. Taurus rising. Gemini. Some of you all, you're the can do it of truth. Some of y'all, you're meant to expose a situation or bring some type of like resolution and healing through you speaking your truth. And it's going to piss some people the fuck off, Aries. Cancer Moon. Again. All right. These fell out. I wasn't going to take them. Searching for your natal chart information. Okay, so somebody could be searching for your natal chart information. This could be you searching for your natal chart information too, Aries. Some of y'all could be getting into astrology. You guys got Virgo Moon. Aries. Sagittarius Moon. Aries Rising. Cancer Rising. Capricorn. Okay? So either those uh, signs could be in your chart or this could be someone in which you're dealing with Aries. But I pray that these messages find you in love, light, a whole lot of divine wisdom. And I'm sending you all a whole lot of peace, love, and big money bag energy. Until next time, baby, I got to go see a man about a horse. Y'all see I got my motherfucking boy equal hat on. I'm finna act bad, bad on the motherfucking Sunday. You hear me? So I love y'all a long time, baby. And if you need a personal reading and you need more information, that information can be found in the description box below. Bye, y'all.